Hey there, exciting news. HubSpot is now available in software as a data source. So welcome to this in-depth exploration of how HubSpot's integration with software can transform your CRM operations. If you're a small or medium-sized business looking to optimize your customer relationship management, this video is tailor-made for you. We'll be delving into how this powerful integration can simplify your workflow, enhance your data management, and improve client engagement. Imagine a world in where your CRM system works seamlessly with external user access, customized client portals, and advanced lead capture forms, all while offering a simplified user interface and comprehensive data integration. That's exactly what we're gonna explore in this video. So let's dive in and discover how you can leverage those tools to elevate your business CRM's capabilities step-by-step. If you're wondering how to necessarily connect HubSpot as a data source, it's actually pretty simple. You're just gonna to go to the bottom left of your account, click on the data sources option, and then from there, go to the top right of your screen where it says connect data source. And then from there, you can click, you can see that there is HubSpot. So let's click on that one as a data source. And then on the bottom right, all you have to do is follow the next prompt, continue. So this is gonna bring us to our HubSpot uh, little authorization here. So we can click on the account. So let's click on Rise Productive, press choose the account. And then from there, it's gonna request access. And then we press go, pretty much it. You now have it connected to your software account. It's literally that simple. There's nothing else to it. It's just a few steps, a few clicks, and you have all of those different aspects of your HubSpot connected directly integrated into software. Moving on to lead capture forms, let's see how lead capture forms easily integrate with and automatically fill in information in your HubSpot account. These aren't your standard forms. They're advanced, customizable, and integrated seamlessly with HubSpot. In your HubSpot account, you can see the current contacts that you have. Moving forward in this tutorial, we'll explore more of how this information is updated once a lead capture form that we'll create in just a moment is filled. So we can actually create an intake form by going into our software dashboard and navigating to create a new application. Here, you're gonna start designing your lead capture form. The next step is to customize your form. So just go through this entire process of creating a blank application as you would with anything else inside software. First off, in your software dashboard, we can create a new application. And here, you'll start designing your new lead capture form. So what you need to do is go to the add block section all right, and then let's create a new form. So let's go to the forms over here, and we are going to click on a customizable form right here. Now the next step is going to be to customize your form. This can include anything from basic contact information to more specific customizations relevant to your business. For example, I will add my name in the form, customize the submit button, and add a message on form submission. So first at the top, let's go change this. So talk to me, Dimitri Benici. You don't have to put a full name in there, but you know, I like doing that. You can adjust the description to anything you'd like. Then on the submit inquiry button, you can adjust this text as well if you'd like. But essentially once somebody presses that button, it will submit the data within there. So we can adjust this to submit request, right? So let's put that. And then for the show message, you can essentially have it so that after somebody submits in here, it will change the message that they get after they submit it. So for in this example, it'd say thank you for getting in touch. You can also enable reCAPTCHA if you'd like. And as always, you can adjust all the different styles within the form. I can add this nice little pretty blue background. I get a quick adjustment there. And I can change the visibility of the form as always to different users. So then what we can do is we can add our HubSpot data source. So let's go to data source and add HubSpot. And then from there, we can select the different object that we'd like. So uh, if you go into HubSpot really quick, you can actually take a look at this. So for example, we have all of our contacts here. So we have like the records inside of HubSpot. And then just going back into our software account, let's click on contacts. And then from here, we can do an example form fill out in order to showcase how this data is essentially gonna sync right into our HubSpot account. Let's go click on preview. And then from here, I'm just gonna do an example form fill out. So let's go to the section where we would have our form on our software. So I'm gonna put a name in here like Tala. Then I can put in uh, Tala at riseproductive.com. Fill out an example phone number right here then put the company name right below that. So company would be Rise Productive here. 
And then we can follow that up by finishing it off with a few more notes, like the company size. So let's do 11 to 50. And then we can do something like the message here with hello. All right. So then from here, we can submit this request, pressing submit request here. And then this data will essentially go into our HubSpot account by pushing this data through. So here you'll see that Tala ended up having their contact input it into HubSpot. So this is really easy, right? I mean, all we did was make a form, connect the data source, and then from there, this is gonna go right into our HubSpot account, which is awesome. Next, we're gonna explore how to build customized client portals. This feature enhances the client experience by presenting the right information dynamics at each stage of their buying journey. By the end of this section, you'll be able to craft a client portal that not only engages your clients, but also aligns perfectly with their specific needs at different phases. Imagine your clients navigating a portal that's perfectly in sync with their journey stage. We're about to make that a reality. So for the purpose of this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a client portal and show the statuses and information about the deals that are in the pipeline. Here you can see the information about the deals inside of HubSpot and I can create a portal within that. I will essentially make a block that is going to display said information. You can see the multiple deals that are here. So example, deal one, two, and three with various close dates, deal stages, the amounts, etc. So then if we go into our software account, once again, what you can do is go into a new software application or into one you already have built. Build out the setup in any way you want, whether it be specific colors, different backgrounds and whatnot. And then from there, what you can do is essentially grab one of these items here. So I'm gonna grab a specific block, like the list with horizontal cards. Those connect to a data source, all right? So that data source can be HubSpot. So we can select that data source here and essentially take that data from the backend that you saw from HubSpot and push it to the front end experience that would be software here. So let's go to the HubSpot option here in data sources. And then from there, we can select what we were looking at prior. As you recall, the different objects we were looking at in this case would be deals. So remember, we go back in here. This would be the deals. We got example deal one, two, and three. So let's go back, click on deals. And from there, you'll notice that the data starts to import. So then if we go to the content section, which is uh, got that little glowing dot at the top here, we can click on that. And then the next part of this will essentially just be adding the different you know, item fields that correlate to our HubSpot setup. So we can pick one of these headings, right? And then and get started from there. So let's click on the heading here, click on content, and let's just grab the deal name. Remember, it was essentially gonna be example deal one, two, and three. So let's grab that. Okay, we put that right there. And then from there, we have the first step finished. We essentially have the name of it in there. And then you can see, we can just go back and forth, essentially grab things like the deal stage, the close date, the deal owner, the amount, whichever makes sense for you. So, because it's syncing the data source. So all we gotta do is grab those different fields and showcase them. So you can see right here, the image, don't necessarily really have an image here. Um, so we don't have to really worry about that, but we can grab another one here. So let's select something like the amount per se, per se, and we can change the label to be something else, right? We can change the label to be amount so that it coincides with what was on the back end. And we can do this for the rest of it, of course, um, but we also can do something really cool, which is utilize the action buttons within here in order to have the option to add data into this system through software as well without needing to directly go into the portal or we can adjust the style and whatever we want. I'm just essentially showing you that you can add as many of the fields from the back end as you want, customize it whatever colors you want. There's a bunch of different content we have here to showcase those features. But for the most part, this is essentially how you make that connection between HubSpot and softer. And you can adjust the visibility to only be for people like logged in users, as well as specific user groups if you'd like to, mattering on the different level of permissions that you want. Granting external users access to CRM data without the need for extra HubSpot seats. This is a game changer for many businesses. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to provide external access to your CRM data efficiently, maintaining control and security. So firstly, you would navigate to the client CRM portal that you created with HubSpot as a backend here. Here, you'll find the option to manage external access. The next step would be to configure the permissions. This is where you can control what data the external users can access. You can go here and add any users that you need by pressing add users and typing in their 
email appropriately. So you can test this setup by inviting an external user and ensuring they have the correct access level. Right here, I'm gonna put in an example email and name, then press add a user. You can also do it via the magic link or generating a temporary password. We're gonna do magic link here. So you can see the user is added, so we can press invite now. And we can copy that link out to them as well and click invite later. Now we can go into the user group section here and we can make sure that we have the right user groups for us. So if we go here, you can click on the user group section and create a user group if needed. So we can type something out like product manager, press next, and then you can either add users manually, like the one that you just added, or add based on user conditions. So you can see right here, I could add Tala specifically so that this would make sure that I have the right person added to that user group based on it just being them. Or right here, we want to, based on a certain field value, we could also make them a product manager as well. This can be for any of the different fields that are within the data source that you have. So if the email were to contain something like an at and then company domain at the end, that also works too. So as we wrap up this tutorial, it's clear that the integration of HubSpot and software offers a pretty large plethora of benefits for SMBs. From granting external user access to CRM data without extra HubSpot seats, to creating personalized client portals and advanced lead capture forms, this integration streamlines your CRM processes like never before. If this guide has been helpful, we'd love to hear more from you. Subscribe for more insights, like and comment with your thoughts or experiences. And most importantly, take the next step and start implementing these strategies in your business. Explore the integration of HubSpot and software today and transform the way you manage your customer relationships and business operations. Let's revolutionize your CRM together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.